At the end of this video, you will learn how to create this impressive team intro slide in PowerPoint. You can see the respective team member details pop up when I click the name and go back to their starting position when I click on the background. Impressive, isn't it? Hey guys, if you're new to this channel, this is the right time to hit the subscribe button. Hope you do. Let's dive into the video. First, go to Insert tab, select Shapes, and select the rounded rectangle shape. Insert a rounded rectangle like this and right-click to access the Format Shapes option. Choose Fill Color as White and the Outline as No Line. Navigate to Picture Effects and select the shadow like this. Adjust the transparency to 80%, size to 100%, and blur to 20 points. With the selection of the shape, go to the Shape Format tab and set the height to 3 and width to 3.3. I'm adjusting the corner radius as required. Place the shape where you need it. Let's insert a picture. Go to the Insert tab, select Pictures, and then this device. Select a picture you want to insert and hit Insert. Go to Picture Format tab and select Crop. Navigate to Crop to Shape and select a rounded rectangle shape. I'm matching the corner radius of the shape that we already inserted. Again, go to Picture Format tab and select Crop. Navigate to Aspect Ratio. Under the landscape, select 5 is to 4. You can see that the image is cropped for the 5 is to 4 aspect ratio. Adjust the crop area like this. With the selection of the cropped image, go to Picture Format tab and set the height to 2.3. Place the image like this. Select both the rectangle shape and the cropped image. Hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate them. Place them in the center of the slide like this. Again, hit Ctrl plus D so that the next duplicates will be placed in the required position automatically like this. Now, right-click on the second image. Access the Change Picture option and select this device. Select the required image and hit Insert. Go to Picture Format tab and select Crop to adjust the image like this. Select and right-click on the third image and repeat the process we did for the second image. I've already created and formatted the required text boxes to save your time. I'm just pasting them on the slide now. Now, insert three dummy empty slides like this and you will get to know the purpose of this shortly. I wondered 92% of you who watch this channel frequently do not subscribe. If you've ever enjoyed my videos, please could you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? It helps this channel more than you know, and the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the community grow with enormous knowledge. Go to the first slide and select this first name text box. Go to Insert tab and hit Action. Under the mouse click option, select Hyperlink 2. Select Slide from the drop-down. Then select the Slide 2 from the list and hit OK. Repeat the same process for the second name text box, but select slide three this time and hit OK. Repeat this for the third name text box, but select slide four from the list and hit OK. Now we can delete these dummy empty slides since the text boxes are mapped with the slides. Select the first slide and duplicate it. Adjust the first shape height like this. Select the first image. Go to Picture Format tab. Navigate to Crop Aspect Ratio. Under the Portrait option, select 4 is to 5. Adjust the image crop area and place it like this. Move these three text boxes and place them like I'm doing. I'm adjusting the size of this shape text box so that we can get a smooth output in the end. Again, 
duplicate the first slide and make it a third slide. Then repeat this process for the second shape and image. Adjust the height of the shape. Adjust the aspect ratio and crop area. Place the image and text boxes as we did on the second slide. Duplicate the first slide again and make it as fourth slide. Then repeat the same process for the third shape and image. Move this subtitle and the position text boxes out of the slide like this. Follow along with me and do this for all the slides. Insert a rectangle and format it with a white background. Go to Insert and hit Action. Select Hyperlink to. Choose the first slide from the drop-down list and hit OK. Right-click on the rectangle and select Send to Back. Copy the rectangle and paste it on the other slides like this and send it back. Now select all the slides. Go to Transitions tab and select Morph Transition. Set the transition duration to 0.5 seconds. Let's see this amazing and impressive team intro slide in the presentation mode. You can see the respective team member details pop up when I click the name and go back to their starting position when I click on the background. Cool, right? What are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comments. Hope you can make your own using this tutorial. If you really like this video, you will like this playlist as well. Do check it out. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. We will meet you in the next video. Until then, bye, signing off, the Slide Master.